he's been phenomenal, not only on the field, but off the field. Again, I can't express that enough, uh, the type of the person he is. You know, he's, he's continuing to learn and grow and develop as, as, a, uh, as a person as well. And, um, you know, guys like that, they strive to be great. And um, there's something about him that uh, he, just has, he just has what it takes and that drive it takes to uh, be special. When you look at who, you know, the people responsible for that football success, uh, there's a lot of people that's had their hands in it, but but certainly if there was a Mount Rushmore, Mason's on it. Uh, and uh, maybe it's Coach Luttrell and then like Mason three times or something like that. But uh, he, he's he's done a lot for the university. He's, he's made us very proud. We knew he would take that. We knew whoever gave him that one opportunity, that one chance, we knew he was going to, Mason was going to give him everything he had because he was one so thankful for that. And also he knew that that coaching staff and that school believed in him. And he was going to give him everything he had. He knew he would do that. All the accolades and success, it's, you know, it, it's great and all because they just show that your hard, your hard work's paying off. But, you know, the reason I'm there, it's, it's it, for some reason, my, my mindset's always looking at what I can get better at. And I'm not trying to be pessimistic or anything, or, but for some reason, the negativity always drives me. <laughs> and, yeah, it's great, the numbers are great. But at the end of the day, I honestly don't look at none of that. It's... What can, I go back to the film, what can I do to be better? Because I know I didn't pay, play a perfect game, and I'm only cutting myself short and my teammates short. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be the best I can be, and that's what drives me every single day. Yes, it's his senior season. Um, a little bittersweet, um, but we're excited to get the season going, and we have a championship to win. Um, we have goals, and we're definitely going to hopefully get those this year. Um, the fans have been wonderful. It's been a great experience. They are very supportive, 100% supportive. We couldn't ask for better fans from the North Texas group. Um, they've been welcoming from day one. Um, the players, the fans, all the parents, we just had a great experience and a great time. He's leaving the legacy in there and he understands that you know, part of the job being only a, a, a student athlete uh, and, and a quarterback for the team is part of that is being a great ambassador for the school. You know, and he, he takes that role very seriously. He, he wants to be a good representation of the team and of the school. And so, when we first got here, you're right, it was, uh, it was Coach Luttrell's first year, it was Mason's first year, and to see the, the um, I guess the growth in the attendance, you know, the growth like the indoor practice facility, and then and then the tailgating scene, getting more people, you know, and, and attendance at the games and stuff. So you can kind of see that kind of growing through, from the first year to the present, you know, and it was really exciting for us to see that. And, uh, you know, we made friend, friendships down here in Denton, and, and people were just excited about, you know, for this season, um, everybody's, it's year-round excitement now. You know, it, it's excitement in the spring, it's excitement in the fall camp, you know, and it's exciting anticipation for the season to start. So it's a year-round experience for everybody, and, and we're just really enjoying it. The optimism about our future and what can we can become, uh, it's just like a, a difference between night and day since Mason got here. The culture is changing. And now we're building a, you know, hopefully a program that's that's here to last. Uh, you know, beyond my years of playing here, it's, it's after I leave. Hopefully, fans keep coming because it's it's a culture now. It's it's it's, it's a program that people respect. It's it's a program that's always competing for championships and bowl games. And you look around and you're seeing more fans come. And, and year four, you're seeing indoor practice facilities being built. And you know, you're seeing you know boosters and, uh, donating more. You're seeing more things done with, with nutrition and equipment and the administration, it's all coming together. Everyone's starting to buy in, like you said, and really want to elevate the program as high as it can go. That's, it's really neat to see. And I always joke around how freshman year, there wasn't hardly no no student involvement on campus. You know, you'd walk on campus, you wouldn't even know it was football season just because people weren't, didn't really uh, care. There's only a handful, but now you walk on campus and students are, are locked in. I think that's the first time I've ever seen the second level of the students there tonight. You know, Ma Mason's a better kid off the field than he is on the field. Absolutely. Which, which makes it a home run as far as I'm concerned. He's a leader. He's been a leader all his life. Oh, what he's done for this university is unbelievable. Um, you know, having success, and again, uh, having a guy like Mason be, um, you know, really the poster child of, of, of your university, of, of athletics, um, the things that he's done. Uh, he's a great ambassador for our university. He believes in it. He's a great teammate. When I say teammate, not only with, uh, as a football player, but he's a great teammate uh, with all athletes uh, with, in the community. 
That's it. We couldn't ask more. It was just, it was a, a perfect, it was a blessing, you know, just a perfect combination, perfect timing. And it really was a deal that, you know, this is where Mason was supposed to be. Just the whole timing of Seth Luttrell coming here and Graham Harrell coming here and Mason coming here. It was, it was just, it was just perfect. And what Mason, what Coach Luttrell and Coach Harrell has taught Mason is just, I mean, we forever thankful. And then not the made him, you know, make him a better person, talk to the worth ethic and what it takes to be successful at this level. Mason putting that time in with them and just the relationship and the bond has, has, grown, has grown from that. Um, it's just, you know, to hear Mason talk about Coach Luttrell. I mean, he, he, he is, he, he, he's a father-like figure to Mason. He, he's his, basically his father away from home, you know, down here. And the influence that Coach Luttrell has had and, the, and Coach Harrell, we we're just extremely thankful. It's been special to watch. They've got a special relationship. Um, you know, Mason has that kind of, but he has that kind of chemistry with everybody that touches our program just because of who he is and, and how hard he works um, the way he sets an example so there's no doubt once once i sit down and, and had some conversations with him uh five ten or not i knew that was a, a guy that i wanted to be part of our family our team yeah uh, and a guy that could definitely lead us in the future of that position with that sense of confidence of that is paying off people are starting to take take notice but don't don't let up because that, that's not you don't want to come complacent. That that would be my downfall. So it's it's always pushing, it's always striving. But then again, it, it, it is my senior year, and you know I do take a deep breath, and take it all in. And, you, know, I, you know I am blessed, I am grateful to be in the position I am right now. The concept of six for Heisman. Uh, once we had the opportunity to talk to Mason and make sure he was comfortable, um, was to really have everyone else kind of tell why he deserves it, as opposed to us pushing it. For us uh, as a program, just being able to get eyeballs on the quality of player that he is, and not just the quality player he is, but the, the quality student athlete he is, the person he is in our community, is something that we really relish in and, and want to make sure that we're able to get that kind of notoriety for him and for, obviously, for our program as well. Yeah, it is. It's very surreal. You know, we just never imagined it would be uh, this much, you know, media attention, you know, and this much... Uh, you know, as far as had this much success in college, you know, we always, of course, we always believed in him. You know, we always knew he was determined. He always wanted to be the best quarterback he can be. You know, so we always knew he had that drive. And starting to see, you know, like the, his, his back-to-back -back conference you know, offensive player of the year. You know, and then some just the media attention and the watch list and stuff. It's it's exciting. We I'll tell you what, we just uh, we never imagined, and it. it's it's just it's uh, we're very happy for. Him. Yeah, that's just, man, like, like I said, it's just surreal. Really fast, just a blink of an eye, actually. I mean, we were just thinking he was on a red shirt as a freshman. You know, it just seems like months ago, and now we're starting the senior season. So it's been really good. It's been a fun ride, but it's went really fast. I mean, I tell you, it's been exciting. It's been exciting from his you know, freshman year up until now. It's like each year gets more exciting as we go along, and it's been, it's been a wild ride. It's been really exciting for the rest of the family. People always tell me what you want your legacy to be. And everyone always thinks it's, it's about being the best football player or, or putting up the most stats or winning games. In reality, that all, you're never promised tomorrow in the game of football. You're never promised anything, uh, a wins or losses. Or, I, I honestly believe that that fades away. And when someone asks me, what, what do you want your legacy to be? It's always about, I never want my teammates to say I was a great quarterback. I always want my teammates and the closest people around me to say, yeah, he was a good quarterback, but he was even a better person. He's a greater person, and luckily I've had a great support system along the way to show me how to do it, and it's always respecting people, you know. I saw a quote the other day, and it's something I truly embrace, and you know, people say it's coach speak or it's a bunch of BS, but it's truly not. It's how I feel. It's, I'm going to treat the same respect as a janitor as I would the CEO. I know all eyes are on me, and I'm just trying to be that great role model candy. I know my sister is always looking up to me to, set, to be the best example, and I'm trying to you know, this game goes farther beyond just just my name or even the back, uh, the name of the back of my jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm representing a whole lot more than just myself.